What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. In this video, I would like to explain to you why fill clocks in Minecraft lag and what you can do against it. First of all, you need to know how the Minecraft server tells the Minecraft client that blocks update. There are three different types of messages, so-called packets, which the server can send to tell the client that a block has changed. The first packet type is a block change packet. This packet just holds information about one single block that has been modified. So for example, if a player places a block somewhere in the world, all of the players around him get a block change packet. If two or more players, however, place or destroy a block at the same tick, the server sends a multi-block change packet. The multi-block change packet contains information about multiple blocks that have been modified. Now, command blocks have a data value. The data value is 0 when the command block is not powered and it is 1 when the command block is powered. Now, every time a command block is being powered or unpowered, the server wants to tell the client that the data value has changed. Therefore, it sends a multi-block change packet if at least two or more command blocks are being powered at the same time. So far, there is no problem. The server tells whenever a command block is being powered or unpowered and it shouldn't lag too much. But here's the catch. As I mentioned earlier, there are three ways that a server can tell the client that blocks changed. If at least 64 blocks update in the same tick in the same chunk, the server does not send a multi-block change packet, but a chunk data packet. The chunk data packet holds information about every single block in the chunk, not only the ones that have changed. Now, a chunk is 16 by 16 blocks large in the x and z direction and 265 blocks tall. This means that a single chunk contains 56,563 blocks and a chunk data packet contains at least 4,069 of them, but it might also include more. Usually, these chunk data packets only get sent to you when you join the server. Now imagine the server sending one or more chunk data packets to every single player which is on the server, and this 20 times a second. And that's exactly what happens when more than 63 command blocks change their data value in the same chunk in the same tick. So how can you as a map maker prevent this from happening? To be safe, never ever place more than 63 command blocks in the same chunk. You can see which chunk you're in by pressing the F3 button. To reduce the amount of multi-block change packets which are being sent to the clients, make sure that the players are far far away from the actual command blocks. Because if the player is farther away from a block update than the server's view distance, which is 11 chunks by default in the server.properties, the server doesn't send the client a packet that the block has changed. So I recommend to have all of the command blocks in the spawn chunks, but make sure not to have more than 63 command blocks in one chunk and the actual play field where the players play at least a thousand blocks away from the spawn chunks. If you follow these simple rules, your Minecraft maps will have a lot less lag. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like if you found this video informative and see you next time. Bye.